people in the last video we have looked at uh, osteoclastoma the in information about it we saw clinical features the gross morphology honeycombed cystic degeneration soap bubble appearance in the epiphysis hemorrhagic necrotic benign it is microscopy we saw the joint cells which are osteoclastic they are osteoclasts like stromal cells which are actually the, the tumor cells and other features also we saw that there will be scanty collagen in the stroma rich vascularity hemorrhage macrophages etc what do we want to look at in this video the cell of origin the exact cell of origin is not known but here there's a guess that it could be mesenchymal in origin now uh, uh, why um, the giant osteoclasts are formed they are believed to be formed because of the rank rank l signaling pathway what is this rank rank signaling pathway so rank osteoclastoma remember rank osteoclastoma so basically rank means receptor activator of nuclear factor kb receptor activator of nuclear factor kb so ran k receptor activator receptor activator of nuclear factor kb is it clear kb right actually it's kb or something like a k actually it is a not exactly a k it's a special character it's a greek letter or something so basically this uh, rank is a physiologic growth factor for osteoclastic proliferation and this will be expressed in the stromal cells so there will be giant osteoclastic cells okay because of the rank signaling pathway let's move on guys to the biologic behavior of osteoclastoma so osteoclastomas these are aggressive they are aggressive and they recur they are so recurrent even if they have been removed they will come back after few decades of uh, initial resection 40 to 50, 60% of the time they will reoccur shameless only these osteoclasts are okay how do you pronounce this cure cure tage so it's more like a q retage q retage okay so that's just for pronunciation guys remember so uh, these osteoclasts are very aggressive they recur 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 osteoclasts oh my god joint cell tumors they recur recur remember and even after q retage they will come back after a few decades and in 4% of the cases in distant uh, they result in distant metastasis okay they actually can metastasize to lungs so even um, the some post radiation bone sarcoma let us read that hold on okay um, the role of radiotherapy okay the radiotherapy resulting in development of post radiation bone sarcoma so sarcoma is malignant correct so what is the malignant counterpart malignant joint cell tumor correct Let's go back here and look at this joint cell tumor osteoclastoma malignant joint cell tumor 30 to 50 years so exactly after a decade it is recurring or metastasis okay so shall we close this video guys so we have we have finished osteoclastoma everything that we studied about it it is a benign condition a uh, well circumscribed in the epiphyseal end it will be there there will be giant uh, osteoclasts like cells stroma will have mono nuclear uh, uh, what else cells which are plump uniform etc and in this case the clinical features will be pain in the knees etc and the weight bearing and the moving kind of uh, uh, movement in movement there will be pain what else you saw radiologically you will see that there are there is soap bubble appearance gross you saw that there will be honeycomb appearance in the epiphysis in the microscopy we saw already all the joint cell stromal cell and uh, other features other features there will be less collagen rich vascularity hemorrhage uh, macrophages will be there then uh, coming to the origin they don't know but it could be mesenchymal in origin rank rank pathway signaling pathway could be responsible for this and uh, it can metastasize to lungs uh, there is also a counterpart of it called as malignant joint cell tumor okay recurrence is very 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 high so it is aggressive it's a very aggressive tumor 
that is the biologic behavior of the joint cell tumor that's all for now see you guys bye 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 uh, you have understood everything right so we have covered osteoclastoma bye bye